First of all, let me say that we don't use the term illegal immigrants. I actually issued a policy in the Department of Homeland Security. We use the term non-citizen to respect the dignity of every individual as a preliminary matter. Great. Then what we need to do also is respect the dignity of murderers by not calling them such a vile name that has negative connotations, but rather humans with population control instincts. What do you guys think? What about criminals in general? I think that that is an absolutely demeaning word. What they're doing right now is calling them justice-involved persons. You got raped? Huh. Well, if you call him a rapist, if you dare, you're the one who's going to go to jail. It is demeaning. It is wrong. And you are depriving him of his dignity. What happened was, is you were momentarily assaulted by a justice-involved person or calling pedophiles minor attracted persons. Because if there is a group in need of dignity and empathy, it is those who rape little children. And let me demonstrate how this is manifesting in society, the precipitate of this empathy. A gay man came out on TikTok. I couldn't find the clip. Sorry about that. Of him standing behind a man with back hair coming all everywhere, thumbing through his phone and looking admiringly at photos of semi-nude children, giving appreciative smiles. And the gay man behind him stated that he called the man a pedophile and was disgusted with him. And this individual turns haughtily to him and states, we prefer the term minor attracted persons. This is the left intentionally normalizing the most abhorrent behaviors and changing the language is a big part of it. You soften the language, you change the definition of words so that the association that people have with a behavior changes. Meanwhile, as they soften the language against the worst members of humanity, as they drop charges against them, wanting them to have a second chance, the same Department of Homeland Security amps up the charges of parents who speak critically of critical race theory being taught in schools to their children. They call them domestic terrorists. One has to begin to understand that these people are absolutely evil. Even as they feign decency, attempting to cloak it in compassion and empathy. I operate from a neutral standpoint when I first encounter an, another individual. I am neither against them nor for them. Respect, I believe, is something to be earned, as is dignity. I do not treat a missionary who's out there doing the Lord's work the same way that I'm going to treat a murderer, a pedophile, or a rapist. It just doesn't work that way that they both have equal dignity in my mind. They are not equal people. This is the equity that the left is after, that they want everybody treated the same to reach the same standpoint. No, if you are engaged in abhorrent activity, then you belong on the lowest rung of whatever humanity has to offer. While the left wants us to recognize the so-called dignity of murderers, child predators, and rapists, they want to remove that from, again, the law-abiding citizens, Christians, anybody that is trying to stymie their ideology from spreading. They will use this as an attack vector. They do not dignify them. Joe Biden went out and called 40% of America evil, domestic terrorists, taking away their dignity. Hillary called a basket of deplorables. But murderers, uh-uh-uh, people with human population control instincts. And while they argue about what to call the illegal aliens that have flooded across our border, in large part because of the magnet of the welfare being given out, the free cash, the medical care, the food, all of the promises of a better life, 
and not de-incentivized as they were via Trump, that they would have to remain in Mexico until their asylum case was heard, which simply makes the most sense, undone by great Joe Biden, by executive order. And now he's trying to blame the Republicans for the immigration crisis that we are having. But meanwhile, the Democrat Party wants us to get stymied in the semantics of language and softening them by calling them non-citizens. No, they're illegal aliens. Sorry, that's the reality. And we need to call them as such. And these people that are intentionally obfuscating the truth need to get voted out of power because they are not serving America. To the contrary, they are destroying it. And they can keep go ahead and trying to normalize this, maps, minor attracted people, and they will have a civil war from parents that want to protect their children on their hands. The same thing that there's they are getting pushback, but all they're doing is softening the language. And Mayorkas deserves to be impeached. He has completely failed the American citizenry.